everyone, my name is Kate and I'm founder of the marriage agency Best Matchmaking. I'm also your Ukrainian dating blogger. I bet each of you ever have the experience when a lady disappears after the very first meeting, although the date was just great. Why is that so? You probably have no idea. Well, <laughs> but I do. <laughs> And in this video, we are going to find out what mistakes you shall avoid so your lady, your Slavic bride will never reject you. Also, how to keep her interested and not to scare her off. Ready? Then let's start. Keep watching till the end and you will find out the truth, which will be very important for you. Don't be needy. You know already you should be confident enough to attract your Slavic lady. And in this case, you should choose a golden mean. Don't be too unconfident as well as there is no need to be too much confident. Otherwise, you may not notice obvious things. And being needy means you need approval or validation from other people. No, guys, please realize that a really confident man doesn't need any validation or approval. He knows he is great and tries to show it with his actions. Don't brag and don't try to be better than others. And don't wait for a woman to tell you how wonderful you are and admire you. She doesn't have to do this. Don't tell about your benefits, just show them with your actions and proofs. Anyone actually can, can say that he is a hero, but does it make him real hero? Healthy criticism, just try to accept it, because it's not a verdict. What I'm trying to say is that sometimes your matchmaker or even a woman you date with can tell you that uh, you do something wrong. Maybe she's not happy with the way you dress up or with your new fragrance. Or even if she's not happy to get your long messages at night, she may tell you this and that something bothers her. And as a confident guy, you should not be offended with that truth. Accept the criticism and try to change it for the better. If you are not ready to change, you would better forget about dating Slavic lady. If more than one lady told you already that there is something wrong, maybe you shall think about it. Don't over love her. Attention, guys! Well, this is one of the biggest mistakes Western and Asian men do when dating Slavic women. Uh, they overwhelm them with their love messages. Please realize, messages are for exchanging short notes. For example, hello princess, how are you today? Wish you a great day. My thoughts with you don't work too much. Kisses. That's it. <laughs> the lady doesn't really have to get your messages 24 hours a day. Knowing about each of your steps, believe me, it's really annoying okay and being annoying doesn't mean to be attentive we spoken about it before already and we have so many couples broken up because of such stupid things so i call you for not sending tons of messages days and nights and don't expect her doing the same after all she may think you simply have no job or nothing to do at all except just sending those loves poems she will just be rejecting you is that what you want we don't think so don't talk about your debts you may be laughing now but my experience says that some guys start talking about their credits and loans from the very first letter to a lady Yes, this may be a common thing for your mentality, but not for Russian or Ukrainian mentality. In those countries, almost all people have their own apartments or houses. So when they hear about loans, they imagine a man who is up to his eyeballs and depths. Now, how do you think after this, will a lady agree to move to your country? <laughs> I don't think so. Of course, 
If your debts are too huge and you cannot afford a foreign lady, you would better don't even start your search of Slavic woman while you don't expect her to live with you in a tent, do you? Don't be eager to get married the soonest. Guys, let's be realistic. Marriages can be concluded after some time of acquaintance. Yes, I know some wonder stories, but they are rather an exception than a rule. Never tell your lady you want to marry till the end of this year, month, day, and so on. You will scare her off at once. Do you know what Slavic girls think in that case? Exactly! What's wrong with that guy? Marriage is a natural conclusion of happy relationship which already lasted for some time. And your love story should flow naturally without some exact plans or dates. Love is not a mathematical algorithm that has uh, only one right solution. So when you tell your lady, oh, I need to be married in six months, <laughs> you put her in a certain frame and she thinks, oh my God, I have only six months and what if I fail? In this case, she prefers to quit rather than pass the examination, believe me. Okay, thanks for watching. And the last advice for today, be yourself and be always confident. And if you think there is something wrong, then just keep working on yourself, trying to improve. So eventually you will reach success. My name is Kate and I'm founder of the marriage agency Best Matchmaking. I wish everyone a great day and see you next time.